What's going on guys, Today Flaps here and damn I've been waiting to say that for a while and the reason why I've been waiting for that for a while is actually because my Xbox has had red dot of death. Now I've done a video about this and you know me eating cereals and whatnot because I wanted to make it a bit longer but basically the reason why my Xbox got red bring of death is because I thought well I've had a look on YouTube, you know, how to, you know, just take your Xbox to parts, clean it and stuff. So I thought, why not, you know, there's no to lose, it looks fairly straightforward, I'm going to clean my Xbox and everything should be alright. But, here comes a twist. I took it to parts, you know, I cleaned it, everything works fine, and then I put it back together, it works fine. But then I thought, well, if that was easy to take apart, why not just add a bit of spray paint? So I took it to parts again, and then I had a look under the heat sink, which is basically what goes on top of the processor to like keep it cold and whatnot. And I found a bit of dust, so like I took it out. Well, to take it out, you actually need to take out the X clamp, and I, so I had a look on YouTube how to take out the X clamp. And this guy actually started like scraping it out, not exactly scraping it like on purpose, but like really forcing it to go out. So I thought, well, it should be all right. Maybe the motherboard should be okay with this area. So I actually started scraping a bit. Yeah, I tried to scrape it near the metal bit where where the screws go in, so it doesn't be that bad. But I really tried to take it out because I got frustrated because I just wanted to take it out and clean it. So I scraped it, I actually scraped the motherboard, but I actually took out a little bit of dust that was near the heatsink. Boy, it was near the heatsink, so it must have been quite a big deal. So I took that out, and then I turned it on, and then I found this red dot, so I was really frustrated. I was like, oh my gosh. So I thought, well, it must be the thermal paste because, you know, I've took it out, and a lot of people on YouTube will say it's a good idea to replace the thermal paste. So I went on eBay, brought some thermal paste, and it didn't work. And then, so I went on eBay and I thought, maybe it's a power supply. So I brought a power supply and it didn't work. And then, that didn't work, so then I thought, well, let's just get an Xbox repair kit. This should solve all the problems. And I buy that, and then it doesn't work. So, my final solution was to give it someone to fix. I and mean, luckily my mum knew someone that could actually fix Xboxes, so he did it for free, which is quite damn lucky, but... He didn't look at the whole thing, he didn't look at the motherboard or anything, like underneath the motherboard where the scraping was or anything. So he said that he don't know what's the problem. Well, obviously he took it apart to have a look, but he didn't actually screw it out to have a look at the bottom of the motherboard because there's no real compartments under there except from the X clamp, which is really nothing to do. Well, obviously need it, but that's just like having screws and obviously there were screws underneath there. So at this point I was frustrated because I've missed a full week off school and I couldn't go on my Xbox one day so I was really annoyed you know every time I went on YouTube and I seen someone do a video you know I don't know COD gameplay I was just thought oh I wish I had my Xbox right now I could do that and I thought you know I'm missing YouTube and all that stuff so I actually thought you know buy a motherboard and then everything should be completely fine so I have a look on eBay for a motherboard and there was not one for sale. They had one, but it was outside the UK, and I think it was like 20 quid. But it was outside the UK, and I didn't want to wait in like an extra month because that's, you know, slowly you start to like begin to like quit some as you're not going on it. Like, say if you smoke or whatever, which is bad, but you smoke and then like you stop, and then like a month later you like slowly give up. It's like that. So I had no Xbox for a month, and I thought if I buy that, I'll have to wait a month, then I might even quit Xbox because it'll be that long. And so I have a look on the motherboard, they're outside the UK, so I didn't want to buy one of those. So I actually had a look on an Xbox Slim. So I brought another Xbox Slim. So I took out my Xbox Slim and sold all the little compartments, you know, the hard drive, you know, the stuff like that. Uh, what else did I sell? The heat sink, the fan, you know, all that jazz, the PC power board, stuff like that. And I sold that, I got a bit of money for that. And then I got the Xbox Slim. So really it cost me about 20 quid because I sold all the stuff for my Xbox Slim but still a fair bit of money when you add in the thermal paste, the Xbox repair kit and uh, what else was it, uh, the power supply, you know that was about 20 quid there so really it was 40 quid which is a damn lot of money. Well that's probably the, not exactly the same amount it will cost to get it fixed from a place but still a damn lot of money. So. So yeah, we live happily ever after, though. we're back to usual, we're back to all the gameplay, and I've actually been doing a lot of gameplay to try and get some good videos, and I've got like 20 video ideas, no joke. I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to give any teasers away, but I'm going to tell you now, I'm putting a damn lot of time into YouTube now, because it's not just making videos, it's all about, you know, just 
seeing how much views you get, you know, just stuff like that, or likes, dislikes, whatever. And yeah, so peace.